Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 9th of 2024 is titled How to Identify That Light in the Sky. So what do we see here? Well, here we have a flow chart in a humorous way trying to show what types of objects we can see in the sky and how to identify them. So if you want to experiment with it, it actually works pretty well. So it's not wrong, although there is a little bit of humor put into it, too. So you start at the top, of course, and decide, will we see something in the sky, some kind of light, and is it big or not? Well, if it's really big, there's really only two big objects in the sky, which would be the sun or the moon. And then the next line, if it's yes, it's big, is looking to whether your retinas are burning. So if it's really painful to look at, guess what? That's the sun. Otherwise, it's the moon. Now, the smaller objects then file down the other side of this flow chart and we look at things whether it's moving. Is it moving quick? If it's moving, is it moving quickly or uh, not? And that's one way to get towards looking for things like meteors. So there's a track that will go towards meteors and even larger ones like fireballs. There are other things where we see something blinking and then we're looking at artificial objects. And that can be rely to things like aircraft or up in space the International Space Station jokingly saying are any astronauts waving at you yeah you're not going to see them but that's one way to differentiate between the International Space Station and an artificial satellite now the last line shows if it's twinkling here and if it's twinkling then it's a star and you're done if it's not twinkling, then we're going to start looking at things like comets or planets. So comet if it's kind of fuzzy and has a tail. And if it's not down there, is it attached to a boat where it would be kind of a, the light masthead light on a boat? Otherwise, it would be one of the planets visible in the sky. So as I said, it's a humorous way to try to help you identify various different things in the sky. It actually works pretty well to help you identify many of the different objects that you can see every day in the sky because most of these are visible. So while you can't always see a comet, if a comet is visible, you could certainly be able to see that. And we see other both natural and artificial objects. So we see things like the sun, moon and planets, but we can also see things like like spacecraft and the International Space Station are visible from Earth. So we can see things like artificial satellites trailing across the sky. We can see the International Space Station from time to time at most latitudes. So all these various different things that can be seen. And here we have that flow chart trying to guide you toward what that object you might see in the sky could be. So that was our picture of the day for June 9th of 2024. It was titled How to Identify That Light in the Sky. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Big Lion. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.